So this is the Q Scout from Roboblock, which is suitable for children aged six plus, and it is a coding robot. It's in a gorgeous little box, which is very, very sweet with magnetic closure, and inside is just as cute. There's a little view of what you're going to make, and everything is in layers. So inside you have your robot which looks amazing because it's transparent and you can see through it it's all very pretty and there is that's just a card separator and there is the big guy big wheels and i'm guessing there's still some more stuff underneath yep underneath we have a little box which is full of goodies here are all the components once you get them out there is a screwdriver and a little spanner which is brilliant you will need six AA batteries to fill this little monster um, front wheel is a little roller and it's all plug and play so it's really easy to use and I particularly like the way that it's labelled, look, line follower sensor, ultrasonic sensor, receiver and transmitter. It's, it makes it really easy for children to understand exactly what's going on. These components that make up the body of your uh, robot are all metal. It's, uh, I mean, it's got plastic wheels, but most of it, and certainly all the bits that are going to bash into everything, are metal. It's... it's feels really nice it's a gorgeous color uh the app downloads really really quickly it's very small and it's got all the different uh toys on and if you want to find your instructions for the build this is where you'll find them putting your robot together should take about half an hour he's been at it about 20 minutes now and we've got all three wheels on and you are 10 this is really clever. At the back, the battery compartment slides in and out. How easy is that? That's just really a keyboard though, isn't it? Is it actually? And as you can see, you can actually add uh, your own embellishments with these handy little studs. If at first you don't succeed, unplug everything and try again. Q Scout is really responsive. Watch. Darn it. And tracking attempt number uh, many. Nap. Yay. Go on, little robot. <laughs> I certainly did. That's pretty good, isn't it? It likes going around that way best. Find the line! Hey, it has done. Oh, it's wandered off. Help! Save it, save it! What I really like about this is you don't have to chase the robot. All the controls that on off is here. So you can set it off from, uh, from miles away and bring it back so you can uh, program oh my gosh so I think uh, do you have to find the Q scout is that there oh I say so we've got a start and it's drag and drop programming 
which is really good for kids. Um, and that is very easy to work out. Uh, let's have some light showing. Oh, lot of colours. Green. And then we'll move again. You know how this works. So, shall we go? That wasn't the tune I was expecting. It was a picture of a tree. I had no idea. This is actually incredibly easy to use because you can just pull it apart as, as drag and drop goes. This is fabulous. It really is. So easy for kids. Look at that. Intermediate programming. Uh, we'll choose the tank. Doesn't matter what we choose, does it? Is super easy. But obviously it's got more... Uh, Got more options. It's, it's this is your your line program and it's very good actually. Repeat, repeat until ifs. You've got a lot of different options and it uh, takes it to a whole other level for children. It can get really quite complicated. Look at that human infrared sensor. It's not quite alive, but very impressive.